So I was um, reading an article on killer whales this past week and I love animals. So um, I like to learn about animals and killer whales are really smart. They are so smart. And although I don't love SeaWorld, they're doing this one thing at SeaWorld where they're teaching a killer whale how to play the flute, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, it's because he wants to be in an orchestra. <laughs> Uh, hey, Wellspring, we are high-fiving five things, celebrating five things that happened uh, this past week. And uh, the first one is we had a Dungeons & Dragons night here at uh, Wellspring. Uh, I know, sounds crazy. Uh, but Joe, he led a handful of dudes uh, here just playing Dungeons & Dragons. And the, the age was, uh, age range was from eight to a lot older than eight years old. I don't know their actual ages, but it was older than eight years old. Uh, but just really cool uh, to see a group of guys um, from different backgrounds, uh, playing a game, getting together to play a game that a lot of people might hate on, but it's actually a lot of fun. Um, so high five to that, and also high five, future high five, if there's any closet dungeon masters out there that would like to be a part of it, um, talk to Joe, because we wanna keep this train rolling, and uh, it was a lot of, it was, I heard it was a lot of fun, I'll be there for the next one, um, but yeah, high five for all of that. So fun. Our next high five is for Jordan, so he came to preach last week, talked about daily surrender, and Wellspring DNA and how coming to church is not just a Sunday thing. Coming to church is so much more than that. And so it was such a good reminder. So good to see him here and just he traveled a long way to be here. So we're so grateful for that and just to see him on Sunday. Yeah, high five to Jordan. And speaking of our uh, Wellspring DNA, uh, we are looking at uh, through the month of September, uh, our five endless core values that we have here at Wellspring. And last week, Jordan talked about daily surrender, which is one of them. And the next one is give of yourself, which really asks the question, does giving of my time, my treasures, uh, and my talents, does that show love for God and for people? Um, and so we thought it'd be really cool if for the next few high fives, we just really shouted out some people who really gave of themselves uh, last week. So the first one was Edwin. Uh, Edwin, he normally works on uh, Sunday mornings and can only attend the 9 a.m., but he wasn't working uh, this past Sunday and he was here for the 9 a.m. service, just attending like a normal attendee. Um, and then he heard that we needed help in parking. We had nobody in parking for the second service. And he was like, hey, I'll do it, even though I've never been trained on it. I don't know what entails being a parking person, uh, but he was just so for it and he jumped in, helped out without ever being trained on it and did an awesome job just out there waving to people. I saw him out there at like t like uh, 1245, still waving goodbye to people. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to do that, but he was doing it. Uh, so just high five for Edwin, just really giving up himself uh, uh, last Sunday. Our next high five is for Marilyn and Carmen. So again, people stepping up where they don't normally step up or sign up to do. So they are normally greeters here at Wellspring and there was a need for aisle hosts. And they were like, yep, we'll do it. And we're just so flexible and adaptable. So high five to Marilyn and Carmen. Yes, and our last high five uh, is for the greatest greeter in all the land, uh, Caleb Carvalho, just stepping in for both uh, services, just giving out smiles to people as they walk in. Uh, I think he was once called the greeter ninja at one point. Don't know what that means, but I heard him call that once before. But high five to him, really high five to all of them. Um, like I said, give of yourself. That's an endless growth value here. And if you wanna learn more about our endless growth values, you can check them out on our website, but just so thankful for all those people really giving up their time, giving up their talents uh, last week, uh, just to show love to God and to the people at Wellspring. Uh, with that, I would just like to introduce our guest speaker, Pastor Joe from Bayside. Uh, I have a hard time ending these videos, so I'm just gonna say, hey, take it away, Pastor Joe. Thank you so much for being here. That's all I got. Peace.